So welcome to part three of the uh, XCollidraw plugin introduction. And in this, I'm going to show you some of the advanced features of XCollidraw. So let's start with uh, objects. Uh, I can create groups of objects. Let's say I want to combine this circle and this text into an object. I can uh, simply select the object I want to create. I right click and select group selection. And with that, I've created an object. I can ungroup the selection and I also can uh, edit uh, my selection uh, while in uh, this uh, grouped uh, setup. Then next, uh, Xcolidraw supports layers. So for this, let me color this object uh, with uh, a color. And let me just move this object over this other object. And then what I'll show you is if I click here uh, to bring the object to front, then you will see that uh, this object is now on the top layer. You can also align objects. You do that by selecting the objects you want to align. So let's say I want to align these three objects and then you have the options to align down here. So one thing you can do is you can distribute objects. So this is going to, um, oh, sorry, here you can distribute objects. So here uh, I could uh, distribute objects horizontally. So you can see now objects are distributed evenly and I can align objects. I'm going to be aligning them to the bottom, but I could also uh, align them uh, by the center. So these are very practical features. Then there's a simple charting solution in XCollidraw. If you have a data set with a title and then data points uh, in rows under that, you can select it, copy it, and if you paste it in XCollidraw, then a pop-up comes up. You can choose the type of chart you want and you can uh, insert the chart into your drawing. Uh, there's also a help. If you click help, you see uh, the list of all the different shortcuts you can use. Uh, one of the practical shortcuts to remember is Shift 1, which is zoom to fit all elements. So I'm going to now press Shift 1 and it neatly fits my drawing uh, to the screen. And finally, in this part, I want to show you uh, the copy to clipboard option. And here I can either copy an SVG, which is a vector graphics or a PNG image to the clipboard. And then I can paste that uh, to wherever I want and uh, that is very practical if you want to include this uh, in a web page or in a document or whatever. So that was part three and uh, we'll continue on with creating your own template. Thank you.